My name is Jeff. <laughs> My name is Jeff. You know, I, I I know I went on a Channing Tatum um, rant once. Like, it was probably gay, but yo, the dude is a solid man. I like him. He's a good actor. He's hilarious. They, they need to give him more roles. But anyways. Okay. <laughs> sure. He's on. He's, he's, he's on he's, the eyes. He's kind of been, I feel. I feel like he's been a little IM, MIA's for the past little bit. Oh, I think that's because like, he's, he's, uh, doing his, he's doing his own thing. I, 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 magic Mike Three. Yeah. Where it's yeah, gonna be cool. magic. I feel like when I don't hear about a celebrity, I'm like, ooh, that's probably a good actor now. Magic Mike Three. Do you believe in magic? <laughs> oh my god. There is gonna be one though. <laughs> Where is that from? What the hell is that whole song? Do you believe me? Imagine? As far as the male actor goes, right? Is that Marine Line? I mean, let's, let's talk about let's talk about um, Pedro here. I mean, what do you guys think of him? Hey. Hey. What do I think of, of of Monsieur Pedro Pascal? Yeah, I I I find he he's doing an okay job in the role. But I, I don't know. I, I I'd like to see him, you know, get a little bit more action out of out of what he's going with. But for the most part, I think he's he's, he's doing okay with the serious the, the talking scenes. Like whenever they have some kind of dialogue. So when you say action, but I do you, find... like, you want to see him fight more. <laughs> yeah, because it's, space, it's basically a bit like Honestly, he finally gets into some kind of action this episode, and within the first five seconds, he gets stabbed. And you're like, he, that was action? Okay, no, I'm gonna put my shit in the dryer. I'll be back. Fuck this. I'm not getting that. <laughs> I'll, I'll be back. That, that, that's what I mean. He's like, that's that's the extent of his the action that seems to happen. Yeah. Or even even the, even the, the last episode where he's like sniping people left and right. I was like, oh, cool, he's sniping people. But like, where's I'm still not quite satisfied with with the level of action this series has. I, I, I get it's supposed to be a little bit more story driven and it's cool, but it, I, I I feel like they're kind of they're, they're kind of skimming kind of over a, a lot of stuff. This was being directed by Disney, I find. No, well, I, it doesn't. I, yeah, I guess feel you like HBO. No. Yeah, exactly. Like HBO, I thought we're gonna see gore, blood, scary. And in depth, like, look, I mean, allow me to refer to my notes here. <laughs> he, 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 I mean, he, I came he, prepared. He, because he, I didn't even watch the episode. I don't know how you guys do these things. I'm, I'm like, okay, let me write some notes because these guys seem, you know, they're already under what fifth episode, sixth episode. Six. We're on the sixth episode now. Okay, so Danny gave me this game back in the day. So I don't know anything about the second, the second game at all. I only know the first game. I remember Daniel had given it to me, and I played this game, and the first scene, when his, his daughter dies, I literally cried, turned off the game, and didn't touch it for two weeks. <laughs> Granted, I was going through a dark period in my life at that point, so this game, from that moment, had me hooked. Oh, yeah, you're going through a dark and moment in life, you want to play The Last of Us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there he goes. I didn't know. I'm like, The Last of Us. Life. Okay, whatever, The Last yeah. of Us. I thought some guy lost his puppy, and it's like, you know, some... Jahi John after. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And that was it. And then when it's I the finished this game, right? I was so into it. When I finished this game, I think I played it like 10 times. I would finish the game and I would just play it again. Mm -hmm. And that's that's rare for me. Mm. Like, I have a hard time. I mean, yes and no, depending on, on how you look at certain things. I'm, I'm a big retro player. And at that point, I think my buddy had lent me his PS3 at the time because I was just, I wasn't going to buy one because I was still on the old school. I still have my old Sega, Sega Master System. And when I when it you know and I just bought a HDMI uh, adapter for the, the Nintendo Wii so I could play my old GameCube games, and I just spent eighty dollars for a year membership on Nintendo Switch just so I could play 007 Golden. Oh, like, that's not too good. That's just that's <laughs> the games I like to play. Like I have all these games that I bought on Nintendo Switch, but I just play Rocket League, and that's the game that I got for free. <laughs> exactly. Like, it kills me. Like I, I don't finish games. I can't anymore. I don't know if it's my age. Anyways, whatever. The Last of Us. So. I really enjoyed this game, and I played it over and over again on every difficulty, back and forth, found all the tricks. So when they said HBO was going to come out, I was like, okay, whatever, who are they going to use? Pedro Pascal. All right, his accent came out. I'm like, perfect. He sounds like a Texan. He's doing a really good job sounding like a Texan, mm -hmm. I think. Oh, man, my vape. Damn it, Danny. Okay. <laughs> Straight. Get your so, vape action going on here. Yeah, it's my stepdaughter's vape action. I don't vape. I just vape when the kids are around because I'm cool like that. Um, oh, I see fits in. So, it's like, oh my god! It, it comes and, in. 
he comes in, he's talking, Ellie, whether you like it or not, it doesn't matter. I'm enjoying the first episode because I'm like, I'm expecting it to be slow. And I'm like, wow, they did a really good job because you're just taking everything in. Second episode, fine. I'm like, here's action. And I'm telling Jen, my wife, and my stepdaughter, oh, wait, 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 wait. You, oh, I'm going to love, you're going to love what's going to happen next. You're going to, wait, wait, oh, this is where it happens. And every other episode, it's like, oh, this is where it's going to happen. And it's like, I'm enjoying it because I enjoy the story. And I, I love these little sidetrack things they did, especially with Bill. I love what they did with Bill. I thought that was a perfect one-time episode. I'd be more happy if that was just once and another episode would be all action all the time. And then you get a Bill episode where it's just slow and you explain the character. Only because I played the game so much that I enjoy and I want to know more about that backstory. I like that we know more more about Marlene. I like that we're... We know more about those people in that little excursion he gets when he's on the highway and he's on. The, I'm on the other side of it. I mean, you know, I knew it was a trap, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's so good. But it's like, okay, the game is about action too. You're mix. You're missing the action. My my wife and my my stepdaughter are looking at me like, is this gonna pick up anytime soon? I'm like, you know, the story <laughs> is good, but I can't tell if someone never watching this before would enjoy that story because it's it's just a story at this point. But everything looks good. The graphics look good. The special effects look good. And last episode, I'm like, okay, fine. The way they twist things, I was a little disappointed because that should have been a huge fight scene. They had so much potential to make that a fight scene and make it so... They could have made him fall off just the second story, just like he did. They didn't have to... I find, like, certain parts, they're really rushing it. They're really rushing the... Okay, they got, they got to get to this point to this point. Maybe we have something bigger coming. Maybe they're like, let's get the video game out of the way so we can start a proper series. It's like 50-50 for me. I'm enjoying watching it because I enjoy the video game. And I like all the backstories, how they explain a lot more things. Great. But if I was a new guy off the street watching this, I'd be like, there's no point to this. I don't I don't care. It's boring. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know? Yeah. I keep on waiting for that, that action. I think we're all in the same boat where it's like, there could be so much more. Even if it's just 30 minutes of the of the hour, 45 minutes, what is it, 50 minutes? It depends. Some episodes yeah. is 45 minutes, some minutes is... Some episodes is an hour and 10 minutes. Some episodes is... 50 minutes well, it's, it. it's, you, it's would have, you, would, you would think they would allocate at least 40 percent to just action and killing and running away and how are you going to get out of this situation mm -hmm. well that's what i was saying with the, the the whole bill episode like the bill episode was nice i liked how they they did some of the stuff they probably could have shortened that down a little bit bring some some more a little bit more action or intensity because like i like i told uh uh, was and Josh, when when you saw that thing, and they, they hinted towards, oh, you know, your fence, there's something that could happen with your fence, you know, you should probably take care of it. Yeah. That could have been, like, a great scene where there's raiders or there's zombies that could have rushed into there. They could have had, like, some kind of last stand, and then Bill and Frank would be like, hey, we're gonna, you know, stay behind to let you guys get out of there. Because they sort of had something like that in the game where Bill... Where, uh, Bill Helps out Joel and Ellie fight off a whole a whole bunch of infected, so yeah. he can get the truck and he can get out of there. So they could have like still kept that whole the whole thing where Bill and Frank die, but it could have been for a better, bigger cause than just like they lived happily ever after to the end. Like I, I liked it, but it could have just been so much more. You know what I mean? No, absolutely. Every, every episode could have been not so much more. They just could have just like insert action here. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like, I'm glad you're embellishing in the, in the story, but, like, one episode could be turned into two because it's all action. It's like, I, I don't know what you're, where you're trying to go with this, HBO. Like, are you just trying to get us interested, the the true diehard fans, so we watch it and we tell other people, hey, you got to watch this show? I don't know. It's 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 like I'm, I'm going to watch it religiously for sure just yeah. because I enjoy the game. I don't yeah. care. You know, the, the same way I watched um, Warcraft, the movie. Uh, same way, you know, I'm gonna watch Halo. <laughs> uh, but hey, did you guys uh, the the, the, the Halo, Halo show? I I haven't seen it, but I heard it's they, yeah, the they basically the did... movie. It's a movie, no? No, it's a TV show. show on Paramount. Yeah, they oh, they Paramount, basically no. were like, "Hey, we're gonna bring you your favorite character, Master Chief, and then we're gonna <laughs> sideline him for somebody else." Yeah. What? But oh, they, um... probably, they, they 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 came up with a Halo TV series. They're like, here you go. Here's Master Chief. But we're going to put him over here so we can deal with this other character, this new character we want to introduce. So forget oh, everything about right. Halo and Master Chief and all the stuff you like. This is what we're doing. No, and that's pretty accurate. Yeah, I don't recall playing as Master Chief in Halo. 
<laughs> exactly. Why, why would yeah. who, who'd you play as? Who's Master Chief? Okay. But it, it, it's it's funny that you're saying that the, the lack of action. But me from episode one of uh, Last of Us, uh, from the first scene that was supposed to be violent, um, and they didn't take that route at all. They didn't even capitalize on it. Um, it kind of set the tone for me. I wasn't expecting a violent show at all. We uh, in the opening scene when um, Joel is with Sarah and uh, he comes home. Uh, well, Sarah's walking around the house. She's looking for her father. And then mm -hmm. uh, in the game, the infected shows up. He pulls out a gun, blasts him in the head, and she sees her neighbor die in front of her, you know? Um, in the TV show, we got her walking into the neighbor's house, seeing her uh, suck her neck with tendrils or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. uh, she runs out, and uh, Joel and Tommy Joel... pick her up in the truck, and they drive off. Well, no, yeah. Joel, Joel cracks, cracks the zombie in the head with a baseball bat. Then mm -hmm. it gets up, and then, what's it, Tommy shoots him? Mm -hmm. Shoots the zombie? So I was like... Still a little bit hopeful. Like, I thought that at, at that point, it's like, okay, they did a little something different just for sake of things, but cool. No, so but the reason the reason up, why that up, scene up. hit so hard in the game was because, she, like, like in the TV show, they establish a relationship with that character, right? Um, you, mm. you, like, they, she, she knows it's her neighbor, and she spends time with them, and then when she died, it, it just felt like it wasn't addressed. It's just like, oh my god, he cracked her in the head with a baseball bat, you know? Whereas in the game, they actually took a second where um, uh, Sarah is crying and looking at Joel. She's like, you shot him, you shot him. And then she says, like, how I, like we saw him this morning and that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? And I just feel like I didn't get that emotion from the TV show. Like, the, the, mm -hmm. the consequence of the violence, which is what heightens the action, you know? Yeah. In my, in my opinion. And No, I would agree with that. And a funny thing that... that uh, because I, I, I am... I, I don't want us to turn into The Walking Dead. You know, where it's just senseless violence, and it gets to a point where I don't give a shit about the violence anymore. You know? Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I was just thinking about that. They, I guess they can't constantly have them running away from zombies, or maybe it was hard to come up with a scene. But like, they're zombies. They're gonna. They're gonna. Like when we saw that bloater mm -hmm. in his in his oh. sniper scene, I'm like, finally, they showed the bloater. Like, where's the boss scene? You, they, you know, he's walking in looking for the battery, and you have the old gym, and then for the first time, the bloater. How you like? Even little, little, little nuggets of that. Mm -hmm. Like, every scene should be a MacGyver. How am I going to get out of this situation? Like, yeah. that's easy to come up with. That's easy to write. You can literally look at all the old MacGyver scenes and just recreate them. Nobody would know. Mm -hmm. Nobody of this generation would know. So, you could do that, but there's no, he's not solving any problems. He's just going through life. Well, there's so one I scene that comes to mind that everyone stands out and everyone praises nonstop the clicker scene. Yeah. Mm, everyone yeah. loved the clicker scene. And the clicker scene was really well shot. It was intense. It wasn't necessarily action, but it was intense. And on top of that, they didn't hold back. It was like, when I say they don't, they didn't hold back. The the clicker was fucking gross to look at. You know, it wasn't it wasn't. Amazing. Yeah. It, it, it was fantastic makeup work. Um, so I I think to me the show, apart from episode three, which was the entire Bill and Frank episode, which I agree was a good episode. It just it was a little too much of that, and it and we we derived a little too much from the story I wanted to see. I think the episode, the show has, I wouldn't say enough action, but a good amount of it. It's just that the action has no consequence to it, and there's no tension in the action. The action is boring. That's the problem. I don't want yeah. more boring action. I want the action to mean something. I think that's the issue for me. Maybe they thought, maybe they thought that like, well, the true fans know that they don't die because they're the main characters, so let's not focus too much on the action because there's no point of giving you action because there's no suspense because you know he's going to survive. Well, I could agree I mean, and disagree with that logic because that's yeah. like saying, looking at any movie really and going, shouldn't he have died? Oh, but he's not gonna because plot armor. Like, yeah, but we don't, but we don't know that since, since what's his name? Um, like, there's very few movies that actually kill off the main character like that and then switches to a different character. No, of course. But most movies are not like that. So but I wouldn't really expect it like this, but like, series, good writing series, would change that. Yeah. Like, 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 Wazim was saying with the, with the, uh, with the action, like, good suspense, like, good build-up would make you go, oh, fuck, are they gonna kill this character? No, obviously not, blah, 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 but you want to see what's gonna happen, like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, I Especially, like, do a Game of Thrones approach, make, make yeah. you fall in love with the character and then kill them. You can't do that oh. with the story's already yeah. written. Oh, Ned. No, but, but, uh, uh, <laughs> we're, we're Game of Thrones already we're written. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, oh, I see. I never read the book. Okay. I, I'm not a. I don't. I don't do that. Song of Fire. No, uh, kind of take it in the same the same respect because like a, I, I feel like a, a, in a video game world you have the time to tell a long with the story because any any story driven game is minimum going to be let's say twenty hours, forty mm -hmm. hours. Mm -hmm. 
Like, I just finally finished God of War. Well, I'll, I'll, we'll go over that at one point. There was, yeah. But uh, that's that's a long ass game. It's a very heavy story driven game. But if they do a series on it, like unless they plan on doing a, a, like a good couple seasons, they're 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 gonna have to cram certain things in there. You know what I mean? I don't find I don't find The Last of Us is. Um... I don't think they're cramming anything. I think because we already know the story, again, only for the first uh, game, I have no idea what's happening in the second video game. Um, like, I'm watching it and I'm going, like, wow, okay, I really like what they did here. There's nothing that I said, ah, I, didn't, I don't like what they did there. The only thing I didn't like was the last episode where that's how they made him get hurt because he got into a kerfuffle. Like, they could have made it so much better. And, like, yeah. The guy came with him at a bat and he didn't feel the bat stab him. And he was like, oh, no, you're hurt. And even Ellie at that point was like, in the video game, she's like, get your ass up. Let's go. Like, you know, I need you. And now they're really like, okay, I really need you. And I like that little scene that they had before. Like, I can't. I'm I'm old. And you really see Joel crying. Like, he goes, I can't do this. I'm getting too old and whatever. And at first I'm like, why is Joel crying? This doesn't make sense. But it's like, no, it does make sense because he's actually a human and you don't get to see that in the game. In the game, you just see little snippets of them having a little joke and you're supposed to understand that they're they're getting a... a starting yeah, Joel, a Joel is also speaking a little bit more of a rougher, like, grittier character from, from the game compared to the oh, he was oh, like, yeah, no, yeah. he's way grittier in the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, but, like, I find my problem... My problem with the show is that I do think that they're cramming it a little too fast. And I do think that they're suffering from a pace issue. Like, I feel mm -hmm. like some scenes could have been extended, whereas some scenes could have just not been there. Like, okay, for example, the newest episode, because I went to do my laundry. But, uh, like, for the newest <laughs> episode... <laughs> like, there were some parts of it I thought, like, okay, yeah, Joel crying all of a sudden. I'm like, okay, I understand why he's crying, but I find the build-up to lead up to it kind of not really as impactful to me, at least. Or, like, how he was having panic attacks and everything. But you're like, okay, at first I thought he was just having a heart attack. And then later on, it's like, oh, yeah, it was, uh, this is why I was doing it. But, like, there wasn't really a good lead-up, in my opinion, to that point. Like, it just, it happened, and I found myself not really caring about it. And then they don't really address it, like, two seconds later. And then it's just because he, cause he feels strongly about leaving her here because he feels old. Like It's because he's done. While there's, he's I'm done. sure there's indications, but I don't feel like there were good enough indications. Like, I, I, I just personally think like they have a pacing issue. But they, they only really, they only really mentioned it in what, like the second episode of the first one, where he basically beats, he pummels the shit out of that one guard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that basically at least. Yeah, it's like that battle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. good. Well, like that's the... showing character like he's still dealing with the death of his daughter, which makes sense. Like he's gonna always carry that for the rest of his life. And here's Ellie; he's forced into the situation where he's like, "It's just a job, fine." And the one person he was doing the job for was Tess the last person on Earth of his family, because he can't find his brother, because God knows if his brother is dead. And then he finds his brother, and it's like, he's he's just, everything just explodes. He's like, I'm done. Like, Tommy, you take care of it. He's basically passing his load, his stress, onto his brother, saying, you're alive, you're safe, I enjoy this town. I really enjoyed what they did with the town, by the way. That, you know, I guess they changed it, because when you're in the game, whatever, you see him building well, the town. It's a copy-paste copy of the town in the second play. game. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. They, they, ba they basically... Set, set you up for the second game. That, okay, that's good. what that town looks like in the second game. Okay, okay so they, they are missing both. Yeah. They are missing both. That's fine. Um, <laughs> so it's like, okay, fine. He, he like, at, at his writing aspect, whatever, everything to me makes sense. This is my opinion again. Everything makes sense. I'm just like, am I expecting too much? Am I on the hopes now because they seem to be going with this flow and this is how they're 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 pumping them out. And it's like, okay, well, maybe they have to get this out of the way because they're like, okay, now we're going to hit you with the stuff that you don't know. Let's give the fans something you don't know because it's not a limited series. It would have said limited series. It's a series. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, well, right, we don't right know. now, is there it's, anything on right, the line? Right now, I feel... for three seasons? Is there two seasons? Is there five seasons? Well, I, I wouldn't uh, really know how they would they would do another like the way that they're going. It looks they're they're kind of following the game pretty pretty heavy handedly. And right now we're about to get to the whole winter, like the the actual winter season part of the game. Yeah, like and there's only three episodes. There's there's three episodes left. And uh, did you play the uh, the DLC for the first Last of Us game? The um, Ellie's part. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I believe so. You have to remind me. Uh, that's how much I love it's the game. Been... I, mean, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the one where it basically tells her story about. Uh, 
how she found out she was uh, that she was immune, uh, sh that she's lesbian, and um, what's it? Just another little in between area between like when Joel recovers. I the mall. I'm thinking. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Then I, th I must have played it because I remember not having the subscription, so I couldn't download the actual content. I think I might have watched it online. Because right now it seems like because if you look at the, the the names of the episode, the next episode that's supposed to be coming is called Left Behind, Ooh. which is basically what the DLC what that DLC is. Which that's cool. I, I wouldn't mind seeing how they're gonna bring that about. But it seems like okay, they have that episode they're gonna deal with. Then they have the whole episode afterwards and. Spoilers for everyone that's that that is that's here right now. It's probably going to be the one where there's the the creepy dude that chases Ellie around. So unless they cram that all into episode seven, which I find they'd be doing too much, like how are they going to finish it off with only two more episodes? I'm I'm calling it right now. They're going to cram it into seven. Yeah, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, surprise me, which I would be a little disappointed if they they cram too you much. There's only, 10, there's, no... there's only ten episodes. Did they say there's only ten episodes? There the, there's only nine. nine. This okay. season's this episode seven, eight, eight, nine. So, so, like, right, right yeah. now, they're they have a lot more. There's a lot more left for what's from what where the game is, and they're gonna be cramming it into these last three episodes plus the DLC content. And yeah, I'm I'm fine with I'm fine with that if they try and do some more stuff in the next season. But then after where can they go next season? Because they can't really drag out this whole thing because then it, it's. It's the end of the game for the first game, but they're going to drag it on for another season. I doubt that. If you wanted to, probably gonna... if, if you wanted to create a to sense of summer, right? it's not a limited series. No, no, no I know they're going to do. An, I know they're going to. Hopefully, they'll they'll do another season. They'll it'll and if they do, it would probably be of the second game. But I, that's how I see them doing it. I feel I'm like hoping, this season's going to be the first one. Yeah. I know, but how? Would, but where would they go after this? There's there's a lot more to tell, but at the same time, there's too little of the episodes that are that are left for them Wait, to tell Joel, hold on a minute does joel die what what Wait, do you mean what in the second in the second game does joel die i'm asking you can spoil it for me the second game has been out does joel die in the second game is he dead i, I will i will tell you yes but i won't tell you how because i'd rather you see exactly what happens yeah Eek. okay that's that's fair enough so he's dead so that's okay so that's why you're saying you can't continue the series okay that makes sense yeah so maybe it's in between. Oh, fuck, that's, it is, that's that's what I mean. Like it's unless they change it's, unless they change the canon. But even, but, but, the no, but even even regardless, the whole the, like the fact that he dies or not that what takes place a year. Oh, how how between how many years is it between the first and the second game? I don't know, but there, there there is there is a a gap there, and I think that gap between the first and the second game because when you finish the game, Ellie's still a child, and you go back to Jacksonville with her. And when oh, the second more of a teen, well, well, yeah, uh, fourteen or whatever. Um, yeah. And uh, when the second game picks up, she's already an adult. She's smoking weed, sucking face with people, all kinds of crap. Um, she's actually well, we're doing. We're saying early twenties. Oh, I guess. I guess no, she's she, she, she's, she's at least 14, eight, nineteen. She, let's say fourteen to nineteen. Five years. We got five years. Yeah, five years at least. I, I, I would say that gap that's not that's not shown in any game. That's where they can potentially explore what they're going to go through in Jacksonville, and why Ellie and um, Joel's relationship deteriorated. Apparently, she's she's nineteen in The Last of Us Two. So it's so it's so it's five years. That's an easy Google search. Yeah. So it's five. Years. I just I just assume because from the, the I remember seeing the trailers and whatever. Yeah, it's five years. Yeah, I'm like she doesn't look. Maybe are they trying to portray a twenty year old? Because they're not portraying a thirty year old. That's for sure. No, no, yeah, she's four, she's fourteen in the first Last of Us, and then so yeah, it's five years. So it's five years, and I think that gap is what they can explore in the next season if they want to do something that's not related to the game. Like, okay, we're gonna hit you with a bunch of shit that you've never seen or heard about now. That, like I said, mm -hmm. would explain why her and Joel aren't uh, speaking about the start of the first game, you know, uh, the mm -hmm. second game. Sorry. Um, no, I, I I can see them doing that in the second season for sure. My my whole thing is like I feel like if they cut whatever they're gonna cut short in this season. Like if they if they put whatever's left of the game into the second season, I feel like it's gonna kind of spoil. And I don't mean like spoilers. I mean it's gonna spoil everything that's that's been leading up to what's been going on from from like the game standpoint. You know what I mean? I feel like the whole quite like everything that that uh, leads up to the end of the first game, all of that, then they throw it right in the middle of the second season. 
Mm-hmm. I feel like it's gonna kind of ruin, it, like like what Josh was saying, it's gonna ruin the whole pace of everything that's going on. It's gonna or, be very very or, poorly paced. They don't they don't care. They made a deal with Ubisoft or whoever has the story rights. Not the other. Let's, let's just cash grab this. Just like yeah, they did with Uncharted. Which... They could have done so much more with Uncharted. Oh, I mean, Uncharted I enjoyed the movie. was such a disappointment. Yeah. Such a Wait. disappointment. How the fuck is Mark Wahlberg Sully? That makes no goddamn sense. <laughs> no shit. Jesus. He's it's a perfect a, Sully. It's the same reason why Pedro Pascal is, is, is Joel. What, what's his... Oh, Mark Wahlberg is not a diversity hire. You know, watch, you know who watch. would potentially have played a good Sully? I just thought... I don't know if you all agree with me. The actual the actor? Who, what? The actual voice Come actor is an actor. He could have played Sully. Why does he look exactly like Sully? No, he's kind of he's, he's kind of, old, actually. and he's old. overweight. <laughs> no, no, no so like I, I don't know if he would have. Like I said, okay, yeah, so that that wouldn't have worked. You know what I thought would might have been half decent. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but uh, what the the guy's name from uh, the the guy who played Alfred from the uh, Christian Bale Batman movies, Michael. King? Oh, Michael Kate. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I, I feel look wise, uh, okay. good, but the English action might have thrown it off a little. We bit. need a yeah. We need more of a rough guy. Maybe like uh, well, I'm gonna look I, I, I would. Like. I, I would have picked a dude. He 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 passed away now, unfortunately. But I would have picked a dude who played uh, General Ross Thunderbolt in uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He passed. I think he passed. Yeah. Oh no. that. Oh yeah. No, he would have been good actually. Oh, he passed? he passed. Yeah, I think he passed. Oh, is away. that why he they, they recasted him? Yeah. Oh, Wait. Damn. Thunderbolt? Yeah, General like Thunderbolt. Ross, like Red Hulk? Yeah, from Hulk and... Uh, uh, the, what's it? The, uh, the Hulk Man. with uh, Chris... Uh, not Christopher Nolan. What, whatever is it? Edward Norton. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was the same guy. I'm going to have to look it up. No, no it is so. the same guy, but in the newest movies, uh, they, they recasted him because I, I believe the actor passed away. No mm. way. Yeah. That's a shame. Um, yeah, because okay. he made a great Thunderbolt, Ross. Anyways, like he, I was uh, really looking for it. I was ho- really hoping they would actually go forth with the, like the Red Hulk, because like he's Red Hulk. Kidding. So mm-hmm. I thought it would be dope as hell to see him as Red Hulk. But yeah. Um, but yeah. So and and one of the things I wanted to like to mention about the Last of Us thing is that uh, the reason why I'm so critical about the show is that because it's for me it's very easy to compare what I'm seeing in the TV show to the game right. because some of it some of it is shot for shot, shot yeah. for shot and line for line. And like the scene where um in episode the, in the last episode, like the Easter eggs. yeah, and and okay. well, well like for instance the, the scene where uh, Ellie was confronting Joel because Joel's about to leave her in Jacksonville and he didn't want to be with her and all that kind of crap. Yeah. Um, I I pulled up a video that compared them shot for shot, and honestly both well acted, both good scenes, you know, but it hits so much harder in the game from the voice actors, and I don't know if that's because a voice actor has to put so much more oomph in their voice because they can't you can't see what yeah. they're doing. Or if it's because um, the lines were just like the, like the, the people in the project involved with the game just cared more. I don't know, you know. Uh, and Pedro Pascal and, and and Bella Ramsey are doing their best, um, but they're they're kind of phoning it in because to me the the only good acting I've seen from Bella Ramsey as Ellie is the scene where Henry took his own life. I bought that when mm. when she saw him shoot himself. I bought that yeah. she was like holy shit, you know. I bought that, but everything else. Like I've said before, I feel like Bella Ramsey is like just going through the motions, reading her lines, and that's it. And I can definitely agree with you on this one. Yeah, I mean, she's a good, yeah. she's a good shit disturber. We're, we're having a good time uh, again. From uh, the I side feel of, like she's. Side she's... Of... No, sorry. 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 Go ahead. The, the no, side of gonna... my wife and my daughter, not uh, stepdaughter, not seeing or playing The Last of Us, or just seeing me play bits of it back mm-hmm. in the day. You know they're they're laughing at her parts because they're like, "Oh, this girl's funny. She's witty. She's she's a bit of a shit disturber." Which is Ellie. So, Exactly, which is fine because I find that that part you see a lot more, right? I find that she's stronger in that ca- her character trait of that in the in the TV show than she was in the game. Mm-hmm. In the game, she was light, like very naive. Still, she's naive now, but she's more like she's got balls, yeah. which is good. Mm-hmm. No, I now, definitely. Again, why didn't they choose the same voice actor? Because she's also an actor. I believe it's the same character who played. I know this is a weird movie to remember her with, but with Mel Gibson in Wh- what women she, want. She was the daughter. <laughs> What women for, uh, want or what women think? Yeah, what women want. Yeah. That's it. Right. I think I, yeah, I think that was her. And it's like both both you're... actresses have <laughs> don't shoot me over this, have weird foreheads. So <laughs> I don't know why one over the other. But because is it because Bella played in Game of Thrones? No, know. but the, the the chick her name is Ashley Johnson, the one who played Ellie in the video game, the voice actress. And I think yeah. wasn't isn't she like thirty? 
shit. Oh, she's she now 30? Is that why? Yeah. Well, not... She's not going to look 14 yeah. anymore. That's right. Well, women want, I think I was, what, like in my <laughs> teens? I, as, as you guys are talking about this, I'm, I'm actually looking at the trailer of the of the next uh, the, the next episode because I was going to look at the... Uh, oh, I didn't look at it yet. At, 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 uh, I, do you want me to tell you anything or you want to just... Yeah, sure. Well, hang on. Let's, okay, let, yeah, let, let, let's let's finish discussing the show first, and then we'll talk about okay, it okay, real okay, quick. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, I cut you off. You were saying, I'm sorry. So, so what I was saying about the episode is that you can compare it shot for shot, and that specific scene, I felt like it hit harder in the, in, in the game. And more importantly, which is something that's happening often in the show, I feel like they're 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 missing the message. Like the message that I got from that episode, episode six, is that Joel's getting old, tired, and worried that he can't do this. You know, that he's going to mm-hmm. fail this person. The message that I got in the game was I don't want to fail this girl because I failed my daughter. It wasn't because yeah, he was yes. old and tired. And and I, I feel like they really missed that on that message. Uh, Ananas Bananas says, I disagree with you on that one. The scene that you talked about, I felt like Bella Ramsey's delivery was better than in-game. Yeah, but you, I don't know, you enjoy uh, Riverdale. So, yeah, that's your... <laughs> <laughs> I, I did, I, we kind of skimmed over it, but like she... Uh, what's it? Anna Bananas said before. Uh, well, this was this was early on when we were ta- when I was talking about the whole action. He said, "Really, the lack of action again. Leave my beautiful and nice story alone and go watch Rambo and some shit." Beautiful, and nice story. You guys know who like, did. Oh, oh! <laughs> like if it was a beautiful, and nice story, I would have agreed with you. But the story is so fucking mediocre. It's mediocre. <laughs> I've played the game. It makes me mad. No, <laughs> it's so fucking uh, mediocre. Uh, it's triggered. just like, what? oh, I'm old. I'm too old. I want to go with you, Joel. Really? There was no build up to it. <laughs> oh, I need a cab because I'm flailing. <laughs> <laughs> All the more reason to buy it. I don't know. I have to. Ah. I'm gonna have to disagree on both of you with that one. I don't know. Like, oh, oh, you think I... you think that the message was delivered the same? The meaning, the meaning of that. Scene. You have to look at it as a, as a TV oh. standpoint, right? At a certain point, it's not. It's not about the the video game anymore. And and Joel, I think I had said it before, like. I'm believing it. He's 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 hurt, and and the thing is, like, he got hurt. He's taping up his boots. He's he, he's getting older. He he can't deal with this anymore. He doesn't want he doesn't want to deal with it. He lost Tess. He lost everything. He's like, listen, I'm getting old. He's blaming his brother. Like, you're a lot younger than me. You can do this. I know you can do it. Help me uh, con- um, fulfill my promise to Tess, the last person I actually care about. And mm-hmm. I found my brother. He's done. He found his brother. This is this is what what didn't happen in the in the video. Well, it did happen in the video game, but I guess because of the town and everything, it's it's a little different. But he's like, listen, you know, you're part of the Fireflies. You can still do this, or you were. You know what my mission is: take her and go. And Ellie's like, I don't trust anybody else. Mm-hmm. You know, and 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 that was the thing. Like, why are you gonna dump me? Marlene was the only person I trusted. I knew her for not even a year. Whoever she was. And now, you know, we don't even know if she's dead. Tess, she connected with, she died. And now Joel's going to pawn her off again. Of course, Ellie's going to be like, anybody would be like, why are you pawning me off? It's not like, oh, yeah, thanks a lot. Like, I could care less about you. She's already developed that relationship with him. She's not telling him jokes, asking him questions about life. She she needs a father figure. That That's that's what it is. Maybe we don't understand that because, I mean, um, not that, unless Josh, unless you had a kid and I don't know about it. None of us have kids yet. And I think that that's... You know, th- that's something that we're missing, too. The, we see it in, in the TV shows and everything and all that world and blah, 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 blah in real life. This but, this kid, this 14-year-old, need, needs a role model, regardless of where you are. It's still Earth. We're not talking about an alien species. We're talking about Earth. She needs a role model. Her role model just said, I'm too old. See you later. Right. Her whole I, world is like, what are you, I mental? Do agree with, I do agree with you on the, the father figure, but I feel like the father figure is kind of less impactful when she's already, like, being a boss bitch the entire time. As that, in the game, she had that whole, she had that whole well, like, you think you wait, you think Ellie's being a boss bitch? <laughs> I, mean, I, I just, I just <laughs> use it for, for the sake of, of, of using it. I feel like Ellie right now is representing more Ellie from the second game than than this one. Oh, okay. That's what I mean. Like Ellie like not to say anything bad about the second game, but Ellie in the second game she was more rough. She was more grittier. Like she was sort of like Joel as uh, where he got to that when he was a, like a lot older. Whereas in in the game she was a little bit more softer she like, and she had that like uh, she had that more innocent side to her, and Joel kind of re- like rekindled that because it's like hey this is what it was like to have a kid, and like to see that kind of innocence and to kind of slowly bring him out of his whole gritty grittier ways. 
So like there was yeah, there was some nice there was some nice her a gun, right? What's that? In the game it took him a lot longer not to give her a gun. More or less. I think yeah. so. I think you so. You know, she got a gun really quick. And I'm like that as as a as a gun owner myself, I find that that's a little I mean, I guess I guess, you know, you're in post apocalyptic world, whatever. But mm. there should have been more time taken with that and the safety he showed her was just ridiculous. Hollywood again. I'm like, oh my god! Like, so, <laughs> you could, like, show her the safeties. Come on, Nintendo. Yeah, it, was, it, it was all right. Nintendo. It was, it was all right. But I was hoping that she would have defended him at least. Like, it should have, again another tense moment of, okay, stay on this perch, defend me, don't shoot me because I really need to get to this destination, and now now you've got tension building. Yeah. Like, we don't know in the game. We know he, she doesn't kill him, but maybe she shoots him in the shoulder. Maybe something else. That could have been another... And I, and then he's like, oh, here. Okay, you do like this. Here's the safety. Uh, you know, uh, the point this end like this. And I'm like, really? Mm -hmm. Really? You see it later. She, he's like, the scope is off. The scope is off. And he's showing her and he's laughing with her. and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. I, I would have been more like, no, show her how to defend herself. Stop brushing this off. Be hard on her. Just like I would oh. be hard on anybody else. If I had children, so you would you want a lot more realism and more information, and like exactly, especially when showing somebody how to use a gun in the in the middle. Because of... Because I feel like, like my point cool. is Sean on what you were saying with the gun is that I don't feel like there's enough to yeah. really give me that relationship feel. It's just distant look, distant look. I feel old. Distant yeah. look. Don't leave me. Distant look. They leave. Meanwhile, a one hour on Bill. Yeah. <laughs> but, hang on. Hang ironically, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. ironically, before, as far as storytelling goes, as far as storytelling goes, I thought episode three was on fucking point. Mm -hmm. As far as storytelling goes, yeah, and that's what I feel like the rest of the show misses. This is why I'm saying pacing to me matters. Why don't they have like I can understand with the budget that they have like less episodes, so they can't film more episodes or whatever. Yeah, but like I feel like out. I'm sorry. It's because they hired Pascal. No budget. <laughs> That's why. That's fair. No, he might. I, no, he I must feel, be I feel expensive like right if, there were, if there was like I don't know if the episodes are longer, or if there are more episodes or something to really draw it out, or maybe just don't cover the entire game in nine episodes. You could do half of it. Just you could add more dialogue if you need to add more character. You could add more character, so, or you could add just more reason. Like if he's feeling old, looking at his bootstrap and repairing it isn't going to tell me he feels old. Nintendo, sorry guys, I don't want to interrupt, but Nintendo has oh, yes, been no, a lot in the chat. She's been saying how he doesn't want to experience what happened to his daughter with, uh, again with the sound with Ellie. That's why he's traumatized. And she's also asking, can Cordyceps survive in the cold? Uh, in the game, they can, but in this universe where it's a hive mind, I don't know. I don't know where they're going to take that. Actually, that hive mind thing hasn't come into play again. And I was going to ask, like, did they ever explain why it's a hive mind? Because to me, that doesn't make any sense with spores. Yeah. It's I thought like, that was already part of the video game. Spores, spores, do no. spores actually have a hive mind? They're just like no. some fungus, right? Or whatever. It's just a fungus. Like I'm very. Yeah, angry. It's so. just a fungus. Yeah. There's there's been a lot of stuff on cordyceps and and whatnot ever since the series started talking about it again. Mm -hmm. But yeah, not, at least not from what I've seen. Okay. Um. Yeah, but it, it, like you said, it all goes back to the pacing that you were saying. Like for instance, like how he didn't take his time to show her with a the gun. They can't because they need to rush through mm. it for some reason. They're they're just they're mm. just blazing through all the motions and trying to get across everything, you know. Um, I know, I feel like it really does take away from what I'm supposed to be feeling because like oh, I don't hate the show. It's no, just no. I find the show could be a lot better. Mm. But here's the thing, though, for people that are not fans, okay, that that are not fans of the game that didn't play the game, like for instance, you have your. Mm. Uh, oh no! Even even just as a show, just, honestly, just as a show, even if I never played the game, I still find it lacks. Like I'm looking at it, I'm like wondering, like why the fuck does he just feel like that now? Like, well, hang on a second. You know We're what I mean? Because we did play the game, but like Joe, like you got people watching it who never played the game. What do they think? Oh, they're they're enjoying it. They're but they're like me. They're like, are we we gonna watch some action? My family wants action. We want action. We want story. It's a good story. We're still watching it. We're still mm -hmm. like, oh, it's Sunday. All right, Last of Us. And everyone's like, oh yeah, yeah, Last of Us. Let's watch mm -hmm. it because they're enjoying it. I mean, like but, it is enjoyable for sure. But I'm yeah. but I'm I'm with two people who are not video game enthusiasts. Like we're playing Mario Kart. With my wife and my my stepdaughter it's not we're not you know we're not like she plays fortnite on her own great but she like you know i'm not that much above her i just been playing video games longer in life but not, nothing i'm not i'm not yeah, anywhere yeah. near you guys the way you guys play video games but no but they, I, like, they the, enjoy it. I mean they're, they're i don't think it's a bad show for someone who never saw it i mean you'd have to like 
that type of thing, you know. No, like the reason we're being so critical about it is because we know the game. It's like when Lord of the Rings Absolutely. came out, when Peter Jackson oh, released yes, the three movies, no. people were That's why I wanted to be on here because I was like, when I saw that episode, sorry, Josh, I was no, like, no, no. okay, I got to call Daniel and be like, I got to be on this because now I'm like, it, it just, it's tugging at my heart just the way the video game <laughs> did in the beginning. But it's like, oh yeah, we're going to bring you in. And I'm like, hey, watch this, watch this, guys. This, this is such a good scene and he's going to get hurt. And, uh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my bad. You're like, oh, watch this! It's gonna be amazing. The great sacrifice the test makes. Why is she sucking face with the zombie? <laughs> yeah, that's basically what I'm telling a lot of the guys at work. Like, oh man, like yeah, okay, this this one was lacking, but I'm, but I'm telling you, the next episode, oh, it's gonna be so good. I know this. I know it's gonna happen. There's gonna be so much action, and it's like, but that was the action. Nintendo's, no Nintendo's saying that she never played the game, uh, and that she really finds the, uh, the the show good. She really enjoys it. Um, Anana Banana, Banana says she deliberately chose not to play the game and only watch the cutscenes of the game because she didn't really care about the action. Yeah, you, get, you can't really compare Rambo to, to, to The Last of Us and, and the, the whole tensity of what, what's actually going on, or, or what's basically at stake. Like, Rambo is literally a whole wartime era for, like where people people have to like, literally for, kill, gun each other down. For Joe, if you're confused. This is specifically about surviving. Anana is my wife, survival. so she's just trolling. <laughs> The what? Of course she's just trolling. What Rambo? Do okay, the question is do I know who Anna Banana is? Yes. My wife. Oh, okay. Well, I thought we were gonna start again. I can't believe you didn't know this. I didn't know this. Um, this is my first time on the internet. So who's Anna Banana? Some of the likes bananas. Yeah. Oh that's fair, bananas are very nutritious. They are. Yeah. So yeah, so but I think oh, that, I think that's why we're being so critical of the show because we really enjoyed the game and we want to see we we, oh, we, we, we want the the emotions that we got from the game to be replicated in the TV show and it's not it's not uh, living up to it. But when when no, has ever what, 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 any adaptation lived up to, to its original creation? There was there was one thing that they adapted into the into the sixth episode. Oh, the way Joel kills people, like the way yeah. he snapped the guy's neck. He literally grabbed him and then that whole, did that whole choke where he where the neck breaks. That was in the game. But wait, hang on. Yeah, breaking is not real. Right? Where was where was where was the glass to the face? There was glass to the face. Joel does that. Where's but, that? There's oh, also wait. makeshift shivs. I, I actually did that in Rambo. I actually noticed <laughs> Where's something. The giant automatics. I noticed something in episode six, and it, if they if they did this, it's really gonna piss me off because they've eliminated a fantastic moment that shows how brutal Joel is. Okay, the scene where he's mm. in the cabin and he's speaking to the two Native Americans. Um, which was oh, a great yeah. scene. I thought, I thought they were fucking hilarious, man. I was laughing my ass off. It was hilarious. Yeah. I'm not mistaken. Those are Canadian actors. Yeah, they yeah. are. They are. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I don't know about the, show, but I the guy. The show's filmed yeah. in Alberta, so I think. He's been on so, so much. Yeah. Um. So uh, that that scene specifically, he he holds him hostage. He points a gun at him. You're gonna tell me where this place is. He puts the map down. You're gonna point at the map. I'm gonna take it to her. And she just if she doesn't point to the exact same spot, you're gonna be in trouble. You know. He does he does that little bit right. Yeah, which is uh, it's, it's like, a that it's actually a, technically hasn't happened yet in the no, video game. That hasn't happened yet. It happens yeah. after Ellie disappears, and that scene, that interrogation that he does with those people who, when he's trying to find Ellie, that was the scene when you realized uh, Joel's a fucking psycho. Like he's but, he will do what it takes. It's not. It's not. Yeah, exactly. That, that's that's when you see like he's done. And yeah. Um, and it's not when Ellie. Yeah, when Ellie goes missing because he wakes up because because he's injured, right? He wakes up like you play her story, and then when she's done. He wakes up and he's and that's happening around the same time. Like, where the hell did she go? Yeah. And he's like, I need to find her. I need to find her now. This is not how this is not how my story ends. And he just well, because right? at the, in the game up until that point, people kept saying like Joel kept saying, I've done horrible things. I've done bad things. When they went to Kansas yeah. City and they got attacked by those people, and he said, Oh, that guy's not even hurt. Uh, in the game, they 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 find this. Yeah, they're uh, on the other side of it. Yeah. Yeah. They, they they he said like I've done these things. I've done what these people do. Like like at one point, Ellie's like, "Why are there all these shoes here?" And he explains what to do with the shoes because he used to do that too. So like yeah. so like it, it's hinted that he did some nasty things. That was the only time in the game where you actually saw how nasty he got. And you're like, okay, he this guy is he he's he, survival has cracked him a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, if if they swap that in a TV show, if they took that out and put it in this scene instead, they fucked up. Big time, they fucked up Joel's character, in my opinion. If hold on, sorry. If they do or if they don't do that, if they did swap it, like if, if that interrogation scene turns into this scene that we got of him asking those two people in the cabin, you know, where's uh, where's Jacksonville? Where's Tommy? Have you ever have you ever yeah. heard the name Tommy? Like what the fuck? How, how are you gonna ask somebody if you have you ever heard the name Tommy? What the fuck? I know a thousand Tommies, you know. It's like, it's, 
But um, yeah, but I think he meant like passing through here, and they're those yeah, two yeah, were just yeah. like they managed to go under the radar because they were just outside the border, and they're like, bah, you know, we're good here. And they've been, I think, like you stumble upon two lucky people. I yeah. mean, it's gonna happen. Look at Bill and whatever; they got lucky up until a certain point. These mm-hmm. guys, because it's cold and they don't care about living in the cold, clearly because you know they're uh, Inuit or uh, Ab- Aboriginal or whatever. Um, they were okay with that, so they're like, yeah, it's fine. I mean, clearly. You know, they were kind of portraying that type of lifestyle. So they're yeah. like, you know, no one's going to come here. It's too cold. So but, why no one's going to bother us? But I don't know if you so guys good. agree that if they took that scene out, I think they really missed a part of Joel's story, which is like to show you yeah. what he's capable of. Because can, one thing is I for can, sure, in today's yeah. environment, when we're trying to push, uh, you know, diversity, inclusion, all this kind of stuff, it's like, well, I, we are definitely going to get the scene when Ellie goes bonkers on somebody. We're getting it and we know we're going to get it. Let's hope. Yeah, no, they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. They're they're gonna do it. Uh, they're, they're not gonna miss that. But if they make that guy as crazy as he oh. was in the yeah. in the game, then then fine. I, that was one of the scariest boss battles I ever played. Like I was same, nervous. <laughs> and I hope they make it as tense in the TV show. It should be like the clicker scene. God damn it! Yeah, you know, I agree. Um, and that has been well, well, that name was, was, was David, right? Yeah. And that has been honest that she saw some gameplay footage. She never played the game, but she saw some gameplay footage of how Joel attacked Henry when Henry attacked Ellie. And she said that Joel was absolutely brutal in the game. Yeah, he was. And it's something yeah. that's missed in the TV show because they're they're taking this approach, this angle where Joel is old, tired, beaten, doesn't want to survive anymore. Which is strange because at the end of the game, it's the main conversation he has with Ellie. He says, like, you just, you, you, you keep doing the next thing to survive, you know? Yeah. Um, he had that, uh, that was in him, you know? Speaking of diversity, if I can just switch it to a second here, uh, I have two things, two points to bring up. One, do you guys find that there is enough, or there's there's way too much diversity in this game, in no. this uh, the TV show? I think there's a good amount. I didn't. Yeah. I mean, obviously, there's the Pedro Pascal aspect of it, and his brother Tommy. Um, they're not. Uh, they're, they're both of, of Latin Tommy's descent, wife. and they're not like white Texans or whatever. They're not Texans, yeah. Like the, the way but, the game portrays is white no, Texans. But I, I, but no, but. I'm really happy sure, that they didn't, uh, they didn't like you know rip out their Texan heritage and whatever and change everything and and make them like you know cholos or whatever. I'm really happy about that. Um, mm. The the only um, diversity that I saw was uh, Tommy's wife. Yeah. Uh, what about Joel's kid? Oh yeah, that too. I, yo, yeah, yeah, she true. popped up. Oh, she popped up in episode given, six. Given the location, I think like given lo- the location and what actually happened to you know, the planet, I think it's it's just the right amount. Like you're okay. not going to see anyone far out. I, I, okay, so bring that because I was like, I didn't understand why they why they changed out his wife. Okay, fine, I mean, they kept the name Maria, but I want you guys to go back because for a, for a, for a second there, and maybe I'm crazy, but for a second there, when he when they're crossing the gates. When he goes, oh, Tommy, I'm looking for Tommy, and they bring him in, okay? And you look up at the, um, you've got, like, the big gates that open up, and they've got the... Um, Guards or... Whatever, the, the, the cross, the, the the catwalk on top where the guys are posted. There's a woman there who I said, that's Maria. In my head, I'm like, oh, that's Maria. That's that's Tommy's wife. She was dressed in the jean jacket, the blonde hair, the bandana. Maybe it was just some sort of weird, my brain making a wrong thing, because, you know, his wife was... Oh yeah, we're family now. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. She was white in the game and whatever, blonde. If you go back to that scene and maybe and maybe pause it, I should have done this. I should have done my homework. I really thought that that would have been her. <clears throat> I'm just I don't know if they if they did like a homage to her. I don't know. Maybe go back. Maybe I'm wrong. But when the, when the camera goes up and he's looking up and there's this one specific girl looking down, I'm like, oh, that's the wife. We're gonna see her later. Mm-hmm. And then after, blah 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 blah, you meet her and uh, and they and they changed her. Fine. Now. Okay, that answers my second question because at a certain point in that scene, I was having this discussion with my uh, with my wife. They were saying that Joel was. Um, they got the impression that Joel was racist, and I'm like, no, that that can't. That's completely wrong because his daughter is black, right. so that's just not going to happen. And he's um, of Latin descent, like you said, but because as the fact that he didn't congratulate her on the marriage. That was the only part where at the, when they're at the table, they're talking, and she's like, "Oh," and Ellie's like, "Oh, congratulations, you guys are married because you know we're family." Blah 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 blah. It comes up, and he looks at her, and he looks at Tommy, and he's he congratulates Tommy, but he doesn't congratulate her. Mm-hmm. And it's like, why would you do that? And they're like, "Oh, well, he's you know he's he doesn't approve of the black wife." I'm like, "No, that that can't be it because 
clearly. <laughs> like, no, I, mean? I, I, I feel like that was he, he wasn't like not approving. He's not the there. He, he was just he was, there. he was at least from what, you, from what I'm getting off of the whole encounter between him and Tommy afterwards. He was just upset that Tommy, you know, ditched, didn't say anything. I was like, oh, you ditched, and then you know, you didn't say anything. Oh, and you got married. Oh, thank you. And you didn't give a shit about me. That well, was what he was trying to get. At least that's why he didn't really say congrats. Correct you kind of got all that wrong, after they but talked. I don't remember the and plus exact... the first impression, right? Yeah. I don't yeah. remember the exact layout of the scene, but I'm pretty sure that um, when they were at the table and they were eating, uh, mm. they explained how, yeah, we're sorry about the dogs, we're sorry about you know threatening you and that kind of stuff. We just can't let anybody in here. We can't let anybody know where we are. And then they find out that they're married, and I think Joel was pissed because he connected the dots. He's like, okay, so you're the reason I didn't know what was going on with my brother. That's how I took it. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's yeah. basically what I was saying, yeah. yeah. Well, that's it. That was, that was my somewhat of argument. I didn't put those, that together, but I was like, they were just like, why doesn't he congratulate her? I'm like, well, he's a hard guy. I mean, they're like, he's not racist. It's clear. Like, that cannot be no, it. Definitely no, 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 did. No. <laughs> so, hang you, on. you got the wrong impression completely. It, it, it's not where, where he I'm, was going with I'm really that. sorry. This is going to be a bad take. But in that episode, at some point, there like the, the screen flashes and you see Sarah for some reason. I forget at what mm. moment in the episode that happens. And in my mind, I don't know why it did this for a split second. I'm like, who's that black girl? And I was like, oh, right. That's oh, Sarah. Right. <laughs> No, no, dude, it was the same thing. I'm like, why is he looking at her with the curly hair? I don't get it. Like, yes, the... yes, that's it. Oh, right, that's yeah. It. That's yeah, what yeah, it yeah. was. Oh, man. But uh, you know what's a funny fact? Nintendo says that it makes sense uh, for where they are in that part of America for there to be like a, a diversity, like a like a mixed culture. Um, oh, in... no, everything, everything makes sense. I'm not saying it doesn't. Everything, everything makes sense. It was just, there was a lot of changing to... Mm-hmm. He was, again, if you're going to change him at that point for him being... Uh, a true white Texan. I don't know. What was that? What does that even mean? They took our uh, jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to, um, to make, making it more diverse, it's like okay, well, making making it more realistic. No, but is it, a, is it a snub to the video game? Is it was the video game playing to the fact that it is mostly young white males playing the video game versus a uh, TV is a broader audience and you have no choice to do this? No, but uh, maybe, I, maybe I, Pedro Pascal's uh, contract says that he cannot be in a, a very violent scene. Maybe they went Disney on him, or maybe he went Disney on them, saying, "Listen, my character, I don't do this stuff." It's hard, it's Actually, hard to kind of take that when he's doing Mando and he's going around running and gunning a good portion of evil. Well, you know, the sword. That, 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 that could be a stunt right now, apparently. <laughs> in Mandalorian, he's technically a voice actor. Oh, shit. Um, but yeah, uh, fun fact is what the what I wanted to mention. What Nintendo said, she said that Pedro Pascal, his his in his biography, he actually grew up in Texas. Yeah, yeah. So that's an interesting fact. They picked a dude from Texas to portray a character from Texas. Just happens to be that's Pedro neat. Pascal. I think he just has good agents. That too. And I was, honestly, the whole the whole quote race swap the race swap is I don't know I don't really care. Like, well, I, I just no, want a good actor to play a good show. That's all. I don't really care. I'll tell you what. I take it as a red flag. And you know what? When I saw um, when uh, Ellie and uh, Joel were surrounded by the horses and the dog was sniffing them, and the black girl, he said, "I'm looking for my brother. He lives in Jacksonville." Tommy, and then the black girl acted weird. I'm like, "Oh fuck, that's Maria." Like I knew that was Maria the moment that that happened because I, I, I'm conditioned to a point that I, I'm, I'm expecting race swaps in existing properties now. That that's where I am honestly as a consumer, and th- that's not to say it's a bad thing. And I've said it before about this show, and I'll say it again: is that this show has its elements of like diversity and inclusion or whatever but it's not forced on you that's why the bill and frank episode works you know they didn't yeah. just shove it down your throat it came naturally no they uh, only give you 52 minutes of it yeah a little too much <laughs> of it a little too much of it but like um Again, Mar- maria being no black because because that was a good backstory of how bill came to be i just thought bill was more of like a I mean, I guess it's a video game and it's hard to make graphics the way you want to, but he seemed more of like a dirty guy, like a whatever, you know, yeah, no right. that, he's, that he's gay later on when, when Ellie steals the magazine and it's all boys and you're like, oh, Bill was gay. Okay, cool. Well, you, you know, you, unless, there, unless there was, I missed, but. Well, there, there was the whole letter from Frank to Bill, because like there's there's a letter that uh, Frank leaves that kind of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Toward, cool. towards that as well. <laughs> but like. Yeah, no, that's it. Like, unless you you went around to, like reading all the extra stuff, but I, again, most of the time, either people don't or just I only found out about it later on too. 
Yeah. It never clicked. At that point during the game, it didn't click until only after. That, that's that's why I connect that that. that scene. At, at least that they were just bringing in stuff that was already there and just kind of like they didn't shove it in your face, but they're like, oh yeah, by the way, he's gay, and you know the game referenced that, but they didn't really put they they the game barely put it in your face. The show just like you know nudged the plate over a little bit and put it a little bit more yeah. there. You know? Yeah, it's funny. They, they they dedicated a whole. I mean, just call it what it is. They dedicated a whole episode on Bill's story. Bill happened to be gay. I like the fact that mm-hmm. you know, how how they met. It was realistic. Everything they did with, with Bill was realistic for me. Yeah. You know, I was believable. Yeah, and yeah. he was a hard up guy, not really sure, living up in a town, couldn't really come out of the closet. This guy's here, and it just happened the way it happened. Great. Offerman yeah. was uh, was also a pretty good choice in that. Uh, yeah, in that Offerman, regard. I like he a whole. He's a fantastic choice. Uh, Nintendo yeah. says that, uh, but in general, the show doesn't have any straight white men as any leads. It's interesting when you think about it. I'm like, I guess, I guess. I, even uh, I find yeah, it's yeah. kind of expected nowadays. To be fair, yeah. But, but what I wanted to say was that how like I expect the inclusion in my TV shows, and the reason why it doesn't bother me in this one is like because it, they could have gone a completely different route with Marlene's character. Uh, not Marlene, sorry, um, Tommy's wife, Maria. Name? Maria. Uh, Maria's character, like, for instance, like, for me, it would have been very stereotypical, like, modern Hollywood, if they would have, like, introduced uh, Joel, Tommy, and Maria in that town, and then Joel has to help them uh, rally the people together, because they want, like, um, Tommy and uh, Maria want to, like, lead the people in the right direction, and show them how things Mm -hmm. are done, and, you know, we can do some good here, Uh, oh, but the people don't want a black woman in charge, you know? Like, uh. that kind of shit happens too often in entertainment nowadays, you know what I mean? And they d- yep. it, they didn't go that route. She was just oh. she was just there, and she did her thing, and people... She, she said she was voted in. Are you the leader? No, I'm yeah. just voted in, like a like a communist democracy, the way it yeah. should be, you know? And you know what? The, the show threads a nice line. It, it tries to stay away from politics. Like, it dropped the communism line and how communism works. But then when you have Joel on the horse riding with Ellie uh, after they left... He says like, oh yeah, but don't forget like that probably won't work in a in like an entire country. That's why it works because it's a small community right now, you know. So it like it's trying to steer away from the political conversation and just give us a story, which I appreciate honestly. Yeah, mm-hmm. great. So yeah, and that's and that's how it's supposed to be, small communities. But we won't we won't that'll that's another. <laughs> that'll be another part. <laughs> you open up that door behind him. There's a bomb shelter in there. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're right. That works for neighborhoods and whatever and like yeah. i try to be really nice to my neighbors all the time they're like oh you gotta you gotta leave blower i'm like yeah borrow it anytime they're like oh it's gas maybe i'll get i'm like why are you gonna spend money i have it borrow it yeah like that's how community should be and that that when i saw that scene with all them working and she was talking about it i was like this is a prepper's dream i'm like oh, i can't wait to the <laughs> end of the world but i need people who think like this you know like <laughs> it's just prepper's it was just it was dream. really good and it was right like it, it does work in small communities because when you get too yeah. big and you have you know, people either have to adopt that way of thinking or leave, mm-hmm. right? So well, that, why... like, humans weren't really meant to know that many people. Like, a couple hundred, sure. A couple thousand, maybe less. You know, I, don't and, know. And I, read, I read somewhere that they weren't meant to, like, the whole social media thing, like, humans weren't meant to have this much exposure to these many people without some sort of side effect. And then you see a bunch of crazy shit on TikTok and such, kind of proving yeah. the fact. Mm-hmm. Well, because, I mean, you have a town like that, so then everyone comes in with skills and abilities. Mm. Fine. Well, you have a doctor, you have a nurse who used to be. Okay, well, we can do this with that. I'm a good engineer. I can build this. Other people come in and say, well, I'm not really... Some people are just clumsy. Some people are just not good. So eventually, the people who don't or they don't need to be like, okay, well, we have enough people to maintain the town. Now all the new people coming in are just people we have to support. Then you become industrialized because now you're like... Well, now we, we need so many cows to feed so many people, and then you have to industrialize. That's where the problem starts, mm. I think. Yeah. Without getting too much into it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I agree. It's a small community, and everyone's doing their part, and people have children, and they move off, and they move in and out, and you have a good flow of things. Okay, good. But once you start getting so many people to rural areas, like a city or whatever, well, then you need to start building outward. And then that's where issues arise, because now you have someone just doing a mundane job all the time. But if everyone's participating... And everyone does a shift and everyone does this and everyone, you know, like, and you're like, you have a schedule and you're working and you're doing stuff, then it's okay. Cause everyone's you know, like, I'm doing work, but it's work to benefit everybody. Not like I'm stuck at the factory because there's too many people 
and nobody else wants to do the factory job because I just decided I'll take that job. Right? I have a question for you. Let's work. Yeah, tell me. Are there cannibals? Because uh, there, there's a question here. Were there can was there a cannibal thing in the game? That's <laughs> yeah, I believe so. Yes. I'm sorry. I was just really intrigued. I'm like, were there cannibals in the game? And then Joe just went off on a tangent of society and working, and I was like, Ugh. come on, Joe. We're watching a show. I don't want to work. No, but uh, so, the, I mean, the next the next episode is going to address it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, was that with the, no, uh, uh, the interesting well, fellow who liked Ellie? Yeah. If you will. Yeah. yeah, I'll put yeah. It like the next that. episode is yeah, going to address the question. For gotcha. Sure. Oh, actually, actually, I'm curious. Uh, what what do you have to say about uh, that preview of episode seven? Oh, it's it's pretty much what we thought. Oh, I don't know what you thought. Oh, jeez. It's, it's it's pretty much the uh, the DLC. Oh, yeah, for the whole thing, like there's not going to be any Joel at all. At least that's what the whole the entire trailer. You know, for. I'll be honest. I would have it's been fun. okay with it if they didn't have episode three because it's basically <laughs> episode three. So that's episode like, seven. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Episode seven. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so episode seven is about Ellie, her backstory. Episode I think we're all okay eight. with it if it was that without the episode three. Like, if one of them, like, you know what I mean? Like, if it was an either or, like, you have two episodes, so basically the same kind of theme. Yeah, I see. Am I yeah. wrong to think this? No, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, you're right. You're right. I can't deny that. You know. Um, but uh, like, I don't mind if it was like a thing and it happened to be in the episode and it continued, but like an entire episode, wouldn't that just be episode three, but okay. with girls? Yeah, but to be fair, um, episode like episode seven, if it's about what we think it is, um, that's going to lead directly into um, the situation with the gentleman that really likes uh, Ellie. Okay. That 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 that's what okay, that's, that's, see, that's what that's what leads that her to get caught it. basically. Yeah, I can't, okay, it so goes seven, eight, eight is them, unless they skip it out completely. Eight is about them, uh, him finding Ellie because he's injured. She goes off alone he goes yeah. and saves her and then nine is he brings her to the facility and then i mean what yeah, happens happens he, yeah. exactly he brings her to the facility yeah. and then realizes no you guys are no and no right yeah. i mean there's no spoilers everyone's seen it yeah no but there's some people in the chat i don't know if they've seen it that's the thing i, I didn't tag this as a spoiler oh no I'm, I'm assuming that this is how they're going to do it in seven eight nine and then then they're going to and and I honestly have played played the for me, PS3. it's all like a blur to me. <laughs> for me, honestly, there's there's three ways that this could honest. go. There's three ways that this could go for me, and it's uh, number one. Um, I think they're just going to play out the entire game. So, like you said, exactly what you described is what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, number two, if they wanted to change the pace and give it a slow burn to tell us the story, um, the season ends with uh, Ellie getting um, medication for Joel. Mm. Okay. It ends with that, and then we see where they the go season. on from there. Yeah, the, 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 like episode nine ends that way, you know. Oh, dope. Okay. Or, um, oh, in, epi in episode here. nine, we're gonna fast forward, um, five years at the end of the at the end of the episode, and uh, we'll see Joel playing golf. Oh, I really hope I see Joel playing golf. <laughs> Those are the three how, endings. That how he dies? He gets a, gets a nine iron to the head. Mm. How he dies, eh? Right. I don't know what you talk about. Yeah. But um no, for sec for sec who's got playing golf. golf I, I, I didn't think I didn't I completely <laughs> forgot about that. I was like, why would he be playing golf? I mean I don't remember him playing golf in the Oh. Because yeah, he's dead. I know he's dead. Uh, but, do, you want, do, you, do you wanna know another little tidbit, but it's it's not really a much of a spoiler, but it's I guess it's kind of neat. I didn't spoil anything, did I? We know he's dead. No, 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 we didn't. No, what, Dave Bautista is going to play the person that kills him? No, no, uh, what's her name? Uh, the voice actress of Ellie is going to be in the seventh episode. It's going to be in the next episode. Oh, the original? Yeah. Oh, Ashley cool. Johnson. Nice. Well, like I said, the, in, in episode, uh, what was it, four or whatever? Uh, the chick yeah. from Two and a Half Men? Her, yeah. her lackey. Um, the guy with yeah, the... Yeah, that, yeah. Was, <laughs> that was Tommy. It's funny that they chose her. Yeah, it was hilarious. I was surprised how much hate she was getting on Twitter. I really was. Uh, people were like, oh my god, you're, you're too fat. Played it, you're crazy. Played it, you're crazy. <laughs> they were like, you're, 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 you're too fat to be a leader of a rebellion. I was like, oh, that's not my problem. My problem is, uh, I don't know. 
There's no point to it. That was, that was a good backstory. I enjoyed that backstory because now you know why why that rebellion was happening. Why that's you know that group of people while they were all upset. It's like cool. It gives body to the story that I really enjoyed. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, that, yeah, that rebellion yeah. didn't happen You're because after of her. Henry because he said stuff like that's not really a great backstory to turn a city upside down. And murder well, no, a bunch because of they, but because yeah. of her brother, right? The brother was a great man, and this and that. And blah, blah, it would have been cool to get the backstory of that part, but it's like kind of it's kind of cut dry, right? Bad government people rebel to the yeah because she was crazy. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> she's crazy. White girls go crazy. They they nailed it right <laughs> on the head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh There's the clip. Just Joe, like, just like the crazy. Game of Thrones that I just rewatched, you know, white blonde chick, Tigarian, once once a dragon killer, always a dragon killer. I don't know. It's just, you know, <laughs> I really enjoyed. Game of Man, Thrones. I wish you would have mentioned around. that. I'm trying to have PTSD about Ned again. Poor Ned. Ugh. And that actor dies at everything. Everything. <laughs> no he dies at like 95 percent of his career. It, it, it has to be a joke at this point, man. I, like it's it's ridiculous. I hope so. I, I, I really, I, I really so. want to. He see was him. in this like he was in this like quote unquote horror slasher movie where he plays like a stalker serial killer, and it was so cheesy. And you're like, I'm pretty sure he knows that he's gonna die in this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he doesn't care anymore. <laughs> but like when everybody sees that character, they always think of that uh, that guy from Lord of the Rings there, one 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 of the fellow people of the Fellowship. Oh, the one who yeah. dies. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but <laughs> for me, until the end of my days, he's 006 from Golden. He's oh, absolutely. He's Alex Trevelyan. Oh, no All kidding. Alex Trevelyan, yeah. <laughs> so, also, do you, do you real guys, quick. Do you guys want to see who da who plays David in the, uh, what's it? Yeah, Boromir. Maybe I'm wrong. No, no not, not Boromir. Oh, yeah. That's no, 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 the no, 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 but do you guys want to see what the, uh, the guy looks like for, uh, what's it? The the weird, uh, Ellie's, Ellie's new friend that she's going to be meeting. All right, let's see him. Is it R. Kelly? No. Oh God! Uh, I just, I, I just, I just. Uh, anyways. <laughs> oh wait, I don't know how we're gonna put this up on chat. I just looked it up. It wasn't that. I was just crazy. The um, the Tommy's okay. original wife scene to pay homage to the original character. It doesn't pop up anywhere. Can I post yeah. links on your okay. on your chat was. But you should look at right. look at it again. I'm telling you, it's her. It's what? Right, I'll, I'll I'll put up I'll put up a link in your chat. There you go. That's. That's who's going to be playing uh, Dave. Let's see who this is. <laughs> that face. <laughs> hey, that's that's pretty accurate, though. Yeah, I know it is. Oh, what what is that? That's fucking creepy. Okay. Okay, then I don't want to see it. Okay, now I have to look up Dave. He fucking Dave or David. <laughs> fucking David. David. Look, Nintendo. You wanted a straight white man. We got one. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna, he's definitely he's gonna be creep, a lead. He's a creepy oh. looking ginger. <laughs> oh wait, character's kind of uh... okay. Yeah, you can see it. It pleases me that he's a ginger. Oh goddamn! <laughs> I feel like there's another actor who could really fill that too. Oh man! So overall, um, real quick, we, William we, Defoe. We, we didn't. Uh, ooh. I didn't see the lighthouse. I feel like it would freak me out, man. I don't want to see that. Um, real quick, I want to know, um, so we didn't talk about episode 6 too much, but to be honest, there's not too much to cover other than the panic attack and the reconciliation of Joel and Ellie and their bonding oh. at the end, and that was it. Um, and the, and the, scene with the, uh, the extra scene with the, the finding of Tommy, that yeah. was pretty good. Well, I don't, again, I, I, the more we talk about it, the more that things come back. Again, the finding of Tommy, I felt like it was downplayed also. Again, oh, I, because I did a scene for scene comparison, right? It's, it's I know I shouldn't do it because we don't want to copy paste. I thought it was better in the TV show. I thought it was better in the game because I thought it be, better because how it, you watch it. In, yeah, because in the game, the reason why I thought it hit harder was because um, they really took emphasis that how they did some bad things in the TV show uh, and that kind of stuff, um, and how they they did what it took to, to 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 get out of any situation they were in and whatnot, and so be it. Um, but in the game, uh, Tommy resented Joel. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't necessarily want Joel around. And uh, Joel had to point out to him, "Was like we survived because of the things that I did for us." You know. So Joel took care of his yeah, little brother. Different vibe. A different vibe. Yeah, it was a completely different vibe. Um, yep. And I just feel like the vibe in the game was so much darker and so much grittier yeah. than we're getting in the show. That's all. You know. Well, yeah, it's a show. Adapted, it's for, like, uh, adapted for TV. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. 
Uh, this sets up season two and for what happens to Joel and their mistakes. Yeah, he says his name a little too often, I guess. <laughs> He's announcing to everybody, my name's Joel. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I, I wanted to know, um, overall, uh, what did you guys think of the episode? Uh, your best, your worst, in the middle? Let's start with the... Uh, um, I honestly thought it was one of the weaker ones. Okay. Yeah, and it's not because, like, Rambo wasn't in it, even though he could be in it. <laughs> like, why not? Rambo. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> gay Rambo. But, like, I don't know. I thought there was... Uh, I don't Adrian. know. I just felt, I, I felt Rambo was the best movie. Which one? Rambo, first Blood. First the last blood. one. <laughs> uh, it, the last Rambo? For me, the Where's order all? is First Blood and Last Blood. Those are my favorites in that order. Okay. Have I seen last one? Draco. Yeah, the fourth one was just killing. It's amazing. The fourth one? No talk. What about the fifth I'll one? Kill. Last... There's the fifth one? Last yeah, Blood. The fifth one. Where, where he's in the jungle? No, that's Ugh. the fourth one. No, no, no. no the, 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 la the last one. The, the, the last the one's in America. One came out. Yeah, the last one's in, in America. It's called Last Blood. Well, he goes down. No, he he goes down to, to no, he goes down to like South America, no, or Mexico. Well, he goes to Mexico, then and, he comes back to America. That's yeah. a lot of rap. Now I'm talking about the one where he's like he fights with these Tibetans or whatever. He's in yeah, the that, ring. That, yeah, you're, you're talking about Rambo. Rambo Four, which came out in 2008. Why do I yeah, know that? that? One. Anyways. <laughs> now okay now i gotta see rambo 5 and now i gotta see this one. oh rambo last blood it's on amazon prime and uh to, to be honest my favorite are in those specific orders last uh first blood and then last blood and after that rambo 4 which is the one you saw <laughs> well the one you like sorry um okay so uh josh says uh not his favorite episode but not a worst one no, it wasn't. It wasn't bad, but I definitely thought it could be better. Mm -hmm. So it was probably one of the lesser up of the episodes. PT. Yeah, I, I, I kind of have to agree. It was, it, it was still fun for what it was, but yeah, there, there was definitely some, some lacking. It was, it, it's not one of the stronger episodes. Mm -hmm. Joe. Um, at this point, I think it's on par with everything else. Uh, I can't say it's. I couldn't even rate it if it was better or not. We're learning more. There was obviously more in this episode. That's what we found. There was more stuff going on. So there was actually more stuff you can chew on mm -hmm. uh, from compared to everything else. Uh, as far as I go and as far as me watching it with people who have no idea what the game is about. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a 50-50 for me. It's like a, it's on par. It, there's no, it's not, it wasn't a better one. It wasn't a worse one. Just on par. Okay. For me, same. Was diverse. The... Sorry. <laughs> for, for for me for me it wasn't um it wasn't bad at all. I, I liked it. Not my favorite episode. I'm just curious out of you guys, if you had to pick a favorite episode, which would it be? Because for me it would probably be either. I, I I think it's gonna be the last episode, episode five, Henry and Sam. The last one. Who? The one. You know, sorry, I, the one before this. I have to agree because that was the most intense moment so far with Henry and Sam. Yeah, I have to agree with that one or I would almost say the first one just because I, I thought that there was, how do I put it? Oh, actually, there was, yeah. a, lot of, there, was a lot, there was a lot of good nostalgia and there was a lot of good like, um, how do I put it? There was a lot of good fan service. That's true. But huh. it was, there was there was there was there was new stuff that they put in there to kind of not stick completely to the to the first, like the shot for shot to the game. Mm -hmm. But it was it was well done. I, I really liked the first episode. Yeah, I really dig five. Five was yeah. boss. Boss as fuck. It wasn't any Rambo. It was no Rambo, but yeah. it was dope. It had it had the bloater. It had a conclusion to that crap. And that girl died. Oh no, you're talking about episode four. About the bloater, no? Five? Wasn't it five? Was it five? With Henry? Yeah, it was. Oh, it was five. That, that was two. It was two. It was two. It was a two part. No, okay. but like, I think the one with Bloater and the one about. where where you know he shoots his little brother yep. himself. That yeah, one. Yeah. That episode. Yeah, I think that we're all in agreement. That's that's the best one. But if, like, if that's the same thing and it's not just bleeding in my memory, then yes, yeah. that that episode. Oh, it's such a good job on the horde. That horde was nothing but clickers and a bloater, and it and it was so accurate with what they were saying about how like they get worse when they age and how they were trapped yeah. long ago. So it makes sense that they're all clickers or a bloater. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I like the accuracy of it. Like 
it's no last blood, but it was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, running up to the tower, I enjoyed it. That was one of the scenes I'm like, oh, this is such a good scene. Yeah, like, it was just, it, it was a good. Just kind of like smacked the guy in the head like, and, uh, the man, and he's like, like a, you have a tour. episode three. If if Dan remembers, like Darren, it was episode three with the hallway fight. Oh, he's like yeah. his way down the hallway to get oh. to rescue like the little kid, or like yeah. season two where it's down the uh, down the staircase. Like that's yeah. what that episode felt like. You had you know the militia going in doing doing their thing. You had the horde doing their thing. You had Joel showing that he could snipe people and that he actually cares whether or not Ellie doesn't get eaten by things. And the brothers kill themselves, and it was great. Yeah, because to be honest, <laughs> I remember just, in that, that scene, I bought episode. I bought that Joel yeah. was afraid for Ellie in that scene. I thought it was a pretty cool episode. Like, mm -hmm. that's it. It just had actual conclusions and not just, I'm old for some reason, even though we know you're old. It was fucking 30 years later. Nintendo like, agrees with us. She says that she believes that was also one of her favorite episodes and that she never played the game and she thinks that this must be an, an amazing level with Henry and Sam. It is. I mean, it's a good yeah. level, but it's not the memorable mm -hmm. one. <laughs> she has good taste. All levels in The First of Us. The first of us, last of us game is good. Oh man, I can't. I actually can't I'm wait. To, uh, PS3 back to me for my parents. Comes and out on PC because it comes out on PC this month, right? I think so. The remaster. Yeah, yeah. I want to play. I want to replay it. It's been forever since I played it. I mean, I, but I'll tell you what though, the, watching this TV show has really made me want to to play the game again. Like, I really want to go through it. Yeah, that's why I was super because, actually really like, contemplating getting it. Yeah. Like, it's giving me a taste for what I know uh, it could could be, and now like, no, it's not good enough. I want it. <laughs> 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 oh man! I just I just want to use the the upgraded pipe and just. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be able to shank a bloker bloater. Yeah, he has, right he has to be first, and then he has to MacGyver it to the to the pipe. No, but if you get enough pills, if he's drugged up enough. Okay, this is a max pain. I also like, like how they reference that in 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 the first episode too. Is like he's just. Literally popping all sorts of pills. <laughs> <laughs> Just popping. It's like how can, how can we reference the game? I don't know. Make make Joel a druggie? Right, he didn't yeah. take a lot of pills in the game, so let's do that. Uh, wait, I wasn't serious. People no, 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 we're gonna put that in there. By the end of this season, he's a full addict. He sells Ellie. <laughs> oh god. That's how I it's need different. more pills. I, I need more pills. <laughs> <laughs> She's immune. How much can I get? <laughs> Uh, the crazy thing is, like, for instance, I know there's a lot of people out there who, like, um, will watch all the cutscenes of a game to get an essence for the story. Like, Ananas Bananas is one of those people. Like, she'll watch, she, she doesn't play games at all, but she'll watch, like, a bunch of story based games. Jesus Christ, you could fit a lot of things in there. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, so, 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 a lot, uh, a lot of people go on Twitch and watch other people play a game because they don't want to play a game. Some people go on YouTube and watch a Let's Play so they can get an experience for the story. And I feel like when when you do that, you're missing out on so much because the in-game yeah. interactions yeah, the um, is what you is, is where the beauty is. Like that whole scene of Ellie yeah. in, the, in the TV show when she's reading from the the pun book, that doesn't happen in any cutscene. That all happens in game, you know. Yep. Uh, yeah. it, was, it was beautiful moments. Uh, yeah, and, and I'm glad really the TV show walk, actual walkthrough. It's going to be longer, but at least you'll see everything. Yeah, I, I, and I'm glad the TV show brought that to light. You know, they were able to capture some of that at least in-game banter and not necessarily just, you know, copy cutscenes shot for shot. I kind of wish they did more of it because, like, there was a good amount of that banter. Like, the especially with the joke book, the uh, the pun book. Mm -hmm. Actually, at some point, you're doing nothing but puns. Like, fucking yeah. 20 minutes. It's great. And, uh, I remember I said if there's another scene that I want to see them done in the show, it's uh, the giraffe scene. Oh, man. I hope they bring it. I want to see it. <laughs> they, better, they, have, they better have a live giraffe, not some fake shit one. <laughs> Uh, if you go to if you go to the Steam store, you can you can you can take a look at the giraffe. <laughs> How did you what? say? <laughs> if you go to the Steam store and you look up Last of Us Part One, you can see the giraffe. It's it's one of the the first couple of pictures. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! What a live giraffe! Wow! Go to fucking Park Safari or something and get me a giraffe. It, 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 it looks pretty good. Oh, but Joe, seriously, if you haven't seen Last Blood, check it out. Ultraviolent, nice story. 